all right, guys, I need some help. I've tried a lot of things to try to fix this, but it doesn't work. And it's on my other screen here. You'll see this screen. Or you should see this screen. Google Chrome Helper just keeps on running, and it's like this fan just keeps going here. And the bigger problem is, the bigger problem is showing here that the battery is, is significantly. I had this weekend. You know, I was trying to work in front of the uh, the TV with you know family down there, and the battery was gone no time. I'm like, what is this now? So now I'm getting this warning message on the battery that it can't charge more than eighty percent. You have to, and basically, if you follow service options. Basically, it tells you, you know, you have to replace your battery. And I did a search, and there's all kinds of people having problems after updating the Big Sur. Battery all of a sudden going wacko when it's not really a battery problem. So some people reported that it's this uh, Google Chrome Helper, and once they got rid of that, it went away. But I can't get rid of Google Chrome Helper. I tried, I tried everything. I tried, um, let's see. In Google Chrome under preferences, under privacy and security, under site settings, to adjust all kind of stuff here, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Nope, still showing up. I don't even have any any applications opened at all except for activity activity monitor, and you see Google Chrome is still going nuts here. You see, it's something to do with launched one. So it's not even the parent application. Of course, the Google Chrome isn't even open. It's a kernel task, and it's just going nuts. I mean, there's something just not right here. The good news is you can kill it here, but the bad news is I shouldn't be doing this. Help? All right, I might have a solution here. Still not working, but I, I found a semi. They say clean my Mac has a, has a great option. There's all kind of people with this problem over on the Google form itself there's just like just in the in the last month just 100 people just with the same problem and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse but yeah you know, this uh martin Kral, you know thanks god which is always important excellent and what he basically said is you got to get clean my mac and i use cocktail but cocktail's not big sir ready so i'm gonna i'm gonna get this now i don't know if it'll work on the free download but we're going to download this right here and we're going to try it out. Well, that's pretty funky. Nice. Two speed, yeah, well, wish I could skip this though. <laughs> Good though. Okay, so now, yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, go ahead. Probably going to ask a bunch of things. So I think under speed and under optimization, agents of, yeah, this is what you want to have right here. Manage the launch agents of your apps. Wow, look at that. It doesn't seem to be, well, here we go. Right. So login items. Yeah, this one's a great, great extension I use every day to uh, copy and paste things like uh, standard replies, but launch agents. Now let's see if it has Google Chrome Helper or Google Chrome Agent. Yeah, see it's enabled. I think it's this one. If that's the one. I'll be, I'll be darned. Well, Google software. Well, the software of this, okay, I, I, it's this one. We want to, we don't want to remove it. We just want to disable it. And that should hopefully do it. And that's all with the free app, I guess. That's pretty amazing. Login items, launch agents. Now it's disabled. Okay, let's see if that helps. So back to activity monitor here. We're going to do the whole restart process, and we'll see if that helps. Well, I'll be. It's gone. Now, this is what I'm recording with now, so that one's going to be taking a lot. But look at that. There's no more Google Chrome Helper. It's completely gone. Now, look, Adobe's got a helper, too, but at least it's just taking peanuts. And these other ones will go away once the startup process is done here. And, of course, this one is what we're using right here. But unbelievable. 
I searched high and wide for this solution, and in the end, it was on the... I'll give credit to Google Forums. They let people freely talk. All right, so now I'm back, I'm back in Screencastify, and so I opened Chrome, and now you get the Google Chrome Helper renderer, so that's going to be opened when I'm in Chrome. I'm using Chrome actively now. I'm recording from here, so that makes sense that this would be high, and some of these things would be higher. So that is a solution. Clean my Mac. You know, this gentleman, or I assume it's a gentleman, all these things, like I said, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, just like me. But this one worked. This uh, Martin Crawl. I tried to disable agent via clean my Mac, and problem is solved now. So even in the free version, which I downloaded here, you saw that it worked. So that's the solution. It was a heck of a Monday, but we got the solution. My battery's still not better yet, so Big Sur, Apple, please help with that. But yeah, so the battery problem's still here. But anyway, the the thing that's open, I and mean, you can see here, if I click information, you'll see that the parent process is Google Chrome. On the other one, it was some technical stuff, you know. At least the zooming is, you know, I got one thing, little thing fixed here, but something's not quite right with this Big Sur. My battery shouldn't be telling me it needs to be replaced like thousands of others I saw online. Anyway, I hope this helps you. Have a good one.